Aileen Gaby with the Maryland SBCA joins us once again for our Pet of the Week segment. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, we have a honeybee with us here right now, and I've got a series of questions about the, about the girl. three-year-old mm -hmm. designer dog by the, by the list of the names and breeds. Oh, we did have some fancy breeds listed. Silky Terrier, uh, maybe a little uh, Bichon. Uh, she's just a little mix, but she's adorable, up for adoption. We had to shave her down so she has a nice little haircut. I wanted to ask about that. With dogs like this, sometimes when they're surrendered to you guys or, or brought in, there are matting problems. We have discovered that, especially with the little ones. If you have a dog that has hair that tends to grow and grow, you need to stay on top of it, brush it, get regular grooming. It can mat and be very uncomfortable for them. She seems a little shy. She's a little shy at first, but everyone's been really nice going up to her slowly, and that's a nice way to do it. You know, open up your hand and go below instead of above, which can be a little threatening, and then she warms up. You know, Aileen, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about a story we recently had here on ABC2 involving uh, accusations that a Baltimore City police officer may have abused and killed a young puppy. And you said something before we even started this morning that there are some indications that could lead to other issues of violence. There is a link between animal abuse and human violence. There have been studies done that show that often if someone is willing to hurt an animal, he could go on to hurt a person. And often in domestic violence situations, a pet can be used as a pawn almost. Um, if a woman threatens to leave, a man could threaten to hurt the animal to keep her in the home. So a lot of times it's about control. It's very concerning. So um, those are red flags. If any woman is in a relationship and her right. pet is threatened, that's a red flag that something is wrong. And of course, right now we have no indications there is a correlation between the two in this specific case. In this particular case, I do not But know. research has shown that it can sometimes be a connecting factor. Yes, it's very serious. And animal abuse should just be taken seriously on face value, but also because of that link. Okay, now we've got Honeybee with us here this morning, up for adoption at the Maryland SPCA 410-235-8826. If you want to adopt Honeybee, but Emerson, you guys went tabby last week with us here for our special segment, and that cat uh, found the home pretty quickly. Yes, yeah, so Emerson was a, a kitten, very playful kitten as we saw, and got a home that day, very happy. All right, now with Emerson, are there any special needs that she may have? Because I understand she has had a litter of puppies. Um, so we really don't know a lot about Honeybee's background, um, but we do know that she needs regular grooming and she does need a little jacket like this. It's still cold, so we need to make sure that she's protected. <laughs> All right, Aiden Gaby with Maryland SPCA. 410-235-8826 if, look at that, Aww. Honeybee might be right for your home. <laughs>